<laughs> Beautiful. All right, go ahead. Well, we're so glad that you're all with us. Um, we've got uh, seven youth from Bristol Plymouth uh, Regional Southeastern and one from Brockton High School uh, who participated in this project and they're here to share what they've experienced and some of the photos that they've taken with you all. Um, and so if you've had any experience with, with this before, you know that um, there's high quality stuff here and these students are just incredible. We're just so excited to share what we've, some of what Amanda and I have experienced uh, with you through um, the, the lens of these students. Uh, and to kick us off today um, is Rachel Kane with the Office of Problem Gambling through uh, um, uh, DPH, Department of Public Health. Uh, she's got some words to share with us. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Amanda. I am so excited to be um, with everyone here today. Um, so as Dave just mentioned, I'm Rachel Kane. I'm the Assistant Director of Programs and Services for the Office of Problem Gambling Services at the State Department of Public Health. Um, and I'm joined today too by my colleagues, Alice Bird and Victoria Pechnarbaro. Um, and so glad they could join us um, to, to learn from all the youth this evening. Um, we wanna take a moment to just um, share a bit to say that you know, our office is really focused and dedicated on preventing and reducing gambling related harms across the state. We focus on equity, we lead with data and community voice um, and have a comprehensive public appro health approach for our work. And really, I think photo voice is an incredible example of how we bring public health and prevention to gambling related work. In 2019 alone, the program had 47 youth participants and reached over 6,000 community members. Um, and the impact of the program includes raising awareness um, and um, importantly, really empowering the youth that we work with to become catalysts of change in their communities. And all of this is made possible by our partners, High Point, certainly, um, our Technical Assistance Center, the Massachusetts Center of Excellence on Problem Gambling Prevention, um, and our wonderful evaluators at the Social Science Research and Evaluation Firm. Um, and also just to thank all the folks in the room, um, our city officials, um, thank you, Lauren Capiello, for being here, the caregivers here, our community partners, we could not have done this without you. Um, and a, a special thanks to the, the team at High Point and, and most of all to the youth that are with us today. The work that you put into this program, what you give, I feel so fortunate to learn from you um, and our office is so grateful for the time and dedication that you put towards this. Thank you so much. Um, we're looking forward to the presentation and um, learning from all of you. I'll turn it back to you, Amanda and Dave. Thank you. Thanks, Rachel. All right, so as you all probably know, um, Photo Voice is a project that uses um, the youth voice. It's a youth-centered approach um, to engage local students to help prevent a certain issue or bring um, issues to light in their community. And this particular project focuses on problem gambling prevention. Um, so we are, the goal of the project is to pre prevent or reduce underage gambling and problem gambling among youth as well as help youth develop and maintain the healthy lifestyle needed to ensure that they won't develop problems with gambling. And so uh, through this process, the students were able to receive virtual education on social justice, advocacy, public speaking skills, and gambling. Um, they were then able to apply their newly gained knowledge to capture photographs um, and engage in a group reflection, which then uh, they created a call to action around underage gambling for their community. Um, and so the final outcomes are some of what you will see here tonight. Um, so over the last two months, students attended um, 13 one and a half hour long sessions on Zoom, which I know everyone has been so Zoomed out. Um, everyone just is so anxious to get back in person, but these students have been so engaged um, throughout the entire process. It's just been such a pleasure. Um, each um, session, the way that we've kind of adapted the project, um, typically in person, we would have like a snack or a meal together. Um, but while we've been virtual, each session, um, they receive a snack stipend. So we send them 
a gift card at the end of the week for their participation um, to a location of their choice. And then we also were able to provide these students with their Chromebooks, their cameras, um, and all of the other necessary materials so that they could engage in the project. Um, another amazing feature of this Photo Voice project that the students get is that we are able to send um, the students and their families to attend a recreational activity. Um, and so, you know, during COVID, it was a little bit of a challenge to find safe places, um, but we were able to send the students and their families to the Menden Drive-In uh, for a safe, socially distant um, night out with the family and provide them with um, a gas stipend as well as a dinner um, stipend. So the students were able to have like a really nice night out with their family. As you can see in that middle picture, um, Alyssa sent this to me, which you'll meet her in a minute. I just loved her little setup. Like she has her popcorn and her cotton candy or blanket. Um, all ready for the movie that she picked um, to go see with her family. So I love that. Um, and then we also had the opportunity to meet with um, their caregivers um, during a Sunday evening um, in May. And the students were able to present the work to their families on like an intimate level on, on the virtual platform. Um, and then um, we were able to also give their families some gambling prevention education as well. So one of the things that we uh, like to have, especially this to me is the best part of this whole exhibition is hearing from the students uh, directly from what they experienced. So what we wanted to do is introduce you now to the students that we worked with. Uh, we've got Devin, who was a peer leader with the group. He's, uh, he was fantastic and Ari, another peer leader. Um, there was Alyssa, Zakaria, Andre, uh, Karina, Eric, and Olivia. And um, we're going to give them an opportunity now, uh, if anyone's willing, to step up and sort of share a little bit about your experience. Um, you know, we did a little video that we're going to show right after this where a few of the students or four of the students um, shared a little bit about that and did their call to action. But we wanted to give an uh, opportunity now for some students to share a little bit about what they experienced during the photo voice process. So. What was it like? What did you like about it? Nothing that you didn't like about it, obviously. <laughs> um, and yeah, the floor is yours. Devin, go for it. <laughs> um, so I really loved, I pro I'm going to say everything that I said last, last time because it's like, it's everything. Um, the, these opportunities are so great because we as students get to learn so much about um, things that we usually don't get to learn in school. Um, most schools have health, but health is treated differently. Um, these type of things we learn, stuff that um, aren't taught nearly ever, and you might not ever know. Um, I never knew the risks of gambling until this. Like I would play games that included gambling all the time, and now that I now I see how like how um, m how much it like pulls me in and makes me want to continue playing. And now I can resist that because I know the risks that follows. Um, along with learning how to take photos and um, learning about gambling, this is a great chance to meet new friends. And um, we get to form a family, um, which is amazing. Um, I have a lot of the people's phone numbers in my contact. If I ever need them, I can always ask them. Um, I've met Ari, which I feel like I've gotten a lot closer to because we did the last one together and we're mentors, mentors this time. Um, and we both go to the same school. Um, so I, that's just amazing to be able to have people to, or like new people to trust and rely on. And then we get to take photos and um, use our creativity to um, ex express our emotions towards gambling. And um, as you see, the photos are so amazing. All of the photos are so good. Um, but yeah, this is, um, this is a really good opportunity. And I'm so glad that I, um, this is my second session joining. Um, but yeah. Thank you, Devin. Thank you, Devin. Who else wants to share something? We appreciate it, Devin. Feelings are, are mutual. I mean, you're gonna, this is a bit of a love fest. So this is- A little bit. <laughs> Eric has his hand raised. Go for it, Eric. 
Um, yeah, I was originally introduced to this program last year. This is also my second session. Also, I'm sorry if the camera shakes. I'm doing this on my phone. <laughs> but um, when I first joined this program, I was not expecting this, to be honest. I'm going to use a bit of my experience from last year as a bit of context. Um, when I first heard about this program, it was just quite literally something random that happened during one of my photography classes. I wasn't really sure what it was going to be like, but I figured, why not? If anything, we're being paid for it. I didn't realize how much I'd like this program and how close I would get with the people in it. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, thank you, Eric. Alyssa. Uh, okay, um, also on my phone, sorry, I got home a couple of minutes ago, um, but yeah, so like Devin had mentioned, I also would play games with gambling and just not even understand or realize what I was doing was gambling or that like, because I would think, oh, it's not that bad compared to other things, but like it is. Um, and like photo voice really taught me that like it is okay to not know these things um and as long as you have like the right environment you can and it's really like easy to learn as long as you do have the environment that like lets you learn and lets you say things that like might not be right so then people can teach you what the actual like facts are um and I'm really fortunate that photo voice was that space for me when it came to like learning about this kind of stuff um and yeah i'm like glad i like did it as a whole we're glad you did it too yes we are thank you Alyssa. i think olivia has her hand raised yes olivia. i do <laughs> um so um <clears throat> i joined photo voice um my teacher came up to me and Alyssa, we're friends in real life. Um, she came up to me and Alyssa and she was said, hey, there's an opportunity where, you know, you could take pictures and, you know, he had a little bit of money and like, you know, make some new friends. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of nervous. Like it's all online and I've never met these people before. So it might be kind of, kind of weird. Um, so we decided to do it together and Oh my goodness, you guys are all my friends now. <laughs> no, but you guys are so awesome, like instantly, like we all clicked. I don't know. I just, you guys are so cool. No, it's been, it really has been just so much fun just coming to class every week and just seeing all my new friends and just talking. Cause even when we do get into like um, heavier topics, it's, I love how it's always still respectful and still caring and how it, it really is just like a judgment free zone, not like planet, planet fitness, <laughs> but like an actual <laughs> judgment free zone. <laughs> no, I've had a really awesome and positive experience. And yeah, no, you guys are awesome. So yay. Thanks, Thanks. Olivia. So are you. Thank you, Olivia. Zakaria. Oh, Zakaria Andre. I don't know who was first. I guess we'll go, but um, just to kind of take back what I said. Um, yeah, this is a, a really good opportunity. I didn't know a lot about the program before I, I uh, uh, joined. I heard about it, um, but I decided to do it, and I'm glad I did because I think it really like opened my eyes to how um, dangerous gambling really is. Um, and we were able to have serious and really be able to open up and it felt safe open up i was able to talk about things that i never really talked about with anybody um and like everybody said like i was able to make friends too i think i met like Alyssa not long ago in real life i met olivia today actually and Aww. i met andre like last week uh, or a couple weeks ago in person so it's been a really cool opportunity to uh just meet some new people and to learn about an issue that really is like important uh, so yeah I love that, Zakaria. I'm so happy you guys all got to meet each other. Yeah, so great. All right, Andre. Um, so I'm really like happy for this that I took this opportunity when my when my vocational teacher just said, "Hey, you should do this thing where you take pictures and you can make money." I was like, I didn't know what it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be awkward or something, but 
it's like you know it's like everyone already said we we really banded together we really you know made good friends and um we learned a lot actually i learned about healthy risk taking and uh and about you know the issues that of problem gambling especially among youth i didn't really realize there was that much of an issue until until of course until i did the program so it was very educational and it was very good for all of us to to get to meet each other and to get to know each other and we were really close we had some like deep conversations in there um like tough conversations uh but the truth is we all really respected each other and it was just so safe you just felt safe there and that's i'm really happy i took this opportunity mm. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Andre. We're glad you were with us. Last but not least, Ari. Come on, Ari. Um, you know, like, I didn't know how, like, how bad it was before I joined. I just thought, like, it was something that adults do for fun. And, like, you scratch tickets. I get to scratch it, yay. <laughs> um, and then I joined, and... Um, especially the first session, it was like eye opening. It's like, whoa, I had no clue that this was such an issue and that people my age it was an issue for. And so once I learned about it, like I wanted to help. And um now she's woke about it around here. <laughs> Shocking. Minding us all the time. <laughs> Scratch tickets in the house. I didn't think, Daddy, you know, that's not good. <laughs> yes, baby, I know. <laughs> but um, it was not only like healthy risk, but um, I had, there's a community now and I have people that I can talk to and I have fr new friends and people that I probably wouldn't have met otherwise. Mm. Love that. Thank you, Ari. Y'all are the best. Thank you all for sharing. So great. I mean, it's always it's always so great to hear from them. Like in general, these all these students have taught, I know myself and Amanda so much throughout this. So it's the feelings are all mutual. They're all there. So we've all got them. Um, so next thing we're going to do is show a little video that we made that includes a call to action. Basically, it talks a little bit about their experience, their own personal uh, call to action for what they want the community to do. And then sort of the whole group came up with something that they would like the community to do in response to the information that they've learned about. So uh, without further ado, here's the video that we made. I was just going to request um, while this video is playing, you might need to shut your screen off so that everyone can see and hear it clearly. So thank you. My name is Andre Arzeno and I participated in Photo Voice. My name is Devin Rivera and I participated in Photo Voice. Hi, my name is Alyssa Montero and I participated in the Photo Voice program. Hi, my name is Eric and I participated in Photo Voice. My experience with this project was absolutely amazing. I made some friends, had fun, and I learned a lot of useful information. My experience with this project was eye-opening. I was introduced to so many amazing people and learned so many new and important topics. My experience with Photo Voice has been overwhelmingly positive. Um, everyone there is welcoming and they're fun to talk to and they have so many things to say that honestly every Zoom meeting has been so much fun and I found myself like actually looking forward to going um, and usually with school and the meets we have um, it's kind of awkward and I never found myself feeling awkward in any of the photo like Zoom calls. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I'm actually really going to miss spending my Tuesdays and Thursdays with these people. My experience in the project was great. I enjoyed all of the photos we took, and I enjoyed interacting with the rest of the group. David and Amanda were truly great mentors. My call to action is to educate yourself, others, and your community about the negative effects of problem gambling and to better understand how to avoid unhealthy risks. My call to action is that healthy risks are very important to young and budding minds and should be better taught to help educate them on risks. 
my call to action is that sometimes we kind of have to talk about things that aren't necessarily the most comfortable. You kind of have to get out of the box and step out of your own comfort zones to mature as a person, in my opinion. And um, in Photo Voice, we definitely did have these conversations um, in a very healthy and understanding way. And that's another thing I really appreciate about this program is that it was a space for students and people my age to talk to people their age about things that maybe aren't talked about in school. Young people take risks for the thrill and as a part of normal development. We are set up to seek excitement and social opportunities. Understanding the difference between healthy and unhealthy risks is important for building confidence, responsibility, social skills, and decision making. These skills help us make new friends and take new opportunities. Learning these skills helps us create healthy choices as adults. How can the community support healthy and positive risk taking? Educate your friends and family. Create a space for healthy risk taking. And find ways to connect to your community. How great was that? So good. All right. Thank so, you, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. So here's their um, <clears throat> here's their call to action. Essentially, educate your friends and family, create space for healthy risk taking, and find ways to connect your community. Sounds simple, but these are really strong um, words from these uh, these current leaders, not future leaders. Uh, and we're excited to see the ways that they bring these things into their communities uh, as they get older. So without further ado, I think we are moving on to their photos. Um, Amanda, take it away. So um, towards the end of the cycle, uh, the students are, during three of the sessions, are given a question. Um, they leave the session with that question, they go out, they take pictures to answer that question, and then they come back and share those pictures and have a reflection as a group as to, you know, learning different perspectives of people um, and being able to have those kind of healthy conversations um, in a unique uh, setting. So that first question was, what kind of risks related to underage gambling are youth exposed to in your community? Um, and for the students who are on the call, I'm going to um, show your pictures. And if you wouldn't mind just reading the quote that goes along with your picture. So this is Zakaria. Um, okay, so uh, what is that? When I was younger, I used to see people with scratch tickets quite a bit. Um, there was something that was kind of appealing about the idea having a chance to win money. Thank you. This is you again. Um, in games of chance, the more you win, the more you want to play, the more you want to try and good luck. Thank you. Evan. Some games that families or friends play together can turn into something people bet on. Whether you're participating in the game or just watching that, Betting on games can be thrilling because there's reward at the end. Some of us grow up with family members that are so hyper-focused on the idea of winning money that they, are, that they use up every last resource. We see them use everything, that, everything they have to go for that win. We see machines like these everywhere. Um, Hold on, I don't have my glasses on today, so I can barely see it. <laughs> um, hold on, there you go. Okay, fields of lottery tickets become so normal to us, and who knows if any of them are a winning ticket. And a lot of video games and apps nowadays have loot boxes you can buy. You, could, you have a chance of getting something you want, but more often than not, you don't get anything that's worth noting. Olivia. 
Gambling can be fun, but when it becomes a problem, it can really weigh you down and make you feel lifeless and numb. Um, almost rainy day money, that's my photo. Um, money that was meant to be saved up for a rainy day was instead used for gambling. All right. It's over here. Eric, do you mind reading your quote? Yeah, sorry. Youth can be primed for gambling lots of money at a young age when they see family members spending every last penny on gambling. And this is you again. Bills always pile up, but problem gambling can make it hard to pay for the things we need. Thank you. Ari. Just as a child looks on at the flowers that are wilting around them, children, children are often exposed to relatives who experience problem gambling and are not always aware of how they're being influenced. Andre. These apps are supposedly for adults, but they're colorful, they're inviting, and likely if you're bored and you see an ad for a game that pays you, you might find yourself downloading it. Youth tend to gravitate towards these apps because they look fun. And if you're bored and want to make money, it looks easy. It's common to have relatives who gamble like this consistently. Youth start to see it as normal and might think, oh, it's a good way to earn money. So they might do it themselves. That's when problems may develop. Thank you. The second question <clears throat> that prompted their next photos was, how does underage gambling impact your ability to identify and take healthy risks? First one up, I believe, is Zakaria. Underage gambling can cause youth to feel stuck and feel unable to make healthy choices. Zakaria, this is you. Zakaria, this is again. Uh, underage gambling can cause youth to feel stuck and Feel unable to step out and take healthy choices. Is I believe this is Olivia. Often, when youth get involved in underage gambling, they might uh, they might know they need help, but they may feel isolated and can't think of anyone to turn to. Devin, underage gambling can cause youth to feel stuck and feel unable to step out and make healthy choices. Eyes on the prize. Our eyes can become totally fixed on what we want to win. They're not able to see the reality around them. Underage. Underage gambling can create an all or nothing mentality that makes it really hard to balance and properly judge risk factors. Melissa. Taking risks with underage gambling can seem pretty appealing from the outside, but the deeper you get into it, it can be a hole you dig yourself into. It can become kind of scary. It can become a kind of scary dark place. Taking risks with underage gambling can seem really appealing from the outside, but the deeper you get into it, it can be a hole you dig yourself into. It can become kind of a scary dark place. Eric. Relationships with family members can be more difficult when we get caught up in underage gambling. We can find ourselves missing out on opportunities because it can cause us to get into trouble. Ari. Do what we want, but we can see what we want to be, but there seems to be no way through the mess we're in. And Ari again. Underage gambling can make you feel small and unable to reach your fullest potential. And the third question was, what does your community need in order to ensure that all youth have opportunities to take healthy risks? This is Eric. 
Youth can help build the foundation for the future in order to ensure they have the ability to take healthy risks. Olivia. The tree is like a well-connected, strong community, which helps us branch out to take healthy risks. Um, youth need a strong support system like this foundation in order to take healthy risks. If our communities make more space for beauty, it can give it can give youth space to grow and inspire us to hope for a more peaceful and beautiful future. If our community make uh, if our communities make more space for beauty, it can give youth space to grow and inspire us to hope for a more peaceful and beautiful future. Oh, that's the wrong quote for that one, but we will share this with the attendees as, as a follow up after this. This one I remember was about educating our communities. Um, caution. There are two possible outcomes you can win. Money, or you might not win anything. Be careful because there is no guarantee and you don't know which side you're going to end up on. Pay attention to the warnings around you. They're there for a reason. Sorry. The only way to reach the stars, your goal is to branch out. My community needs to understand the risks associated with problem gambling. Many people know that you can lose money, but they don't necessarily anticipate the impact it can have on your mental and emotional health. The community needs more accessible education about the dangers of problem and underage gambling. Our cities need to invest in our education. Communities can put together programs and scholarships for youth to attain their educational goals. People say the sky's the limit. For that to be true, youth need the opportunity to be exposed to new experiences that open up their mind to new possibilities. Right. So that was their amazing creative voice. So everyone, a round of applause for our Ooh. young people. Um, you know, although we are stuck on Zoom, it wouldn't have been possible to bring together students from Bristol, Plymouth, Brockton High, and Southeastern to all work on a project together um, otherwise. So it was just such a great opportunity. These students are so smart and understanding of one another. They've been so, you know, like they all said, they've created this comfortable space for one another to be able to share about, you know, this year hasn't been easy for a lot of people and to be able to have a place to go on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school to feel like it was, you know, welcoming and a, a listening space was just, we were just honored to be able to provide that for them. Mm -hmm. um, I know we do have quite a few, um, I know I see Mr. I'm going to say it, Mosher or Mosher, I'm sorry. Um, the, do you want to maybe say anything at all? I just want to give you that opportunity. Sure. Um, again, I'm, I'm Mr. Mosher from Bristol Plymouth. I'm the assistant principal. And I just like to, to congratulate all the participants here tonight for an absolutely amazing job over the past few weeks. So congratulations to all of them. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Mrs. Trottier is on here. Um, she is also from Bristol Plymouth here supporting the students. She is who got us all of the students to participate this cycle and last cycle from Bristol Plymouth. So thank you, Ms. Trottier. I don't know if you wanted to say anything at all. <laughs> Thanks again. I enjoyed it again. It was great to see, um, you know, more unique photos and um, so wonderful to see, see how everybody's Confidence has grown in their ability to communicate. It's really fun. Thank you. Thanks. 
And um, Mr. Ganich is here from Brockton Public Schools. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. I just wanted to give you the opportunity. Thank you for sending students and helping us coordinate. I appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who uh, participated. Just really impactful work, everybody. I'm just so proud to be associated with the group and just to see your work. Uh, after a real tough year in, in our country's history, I feel like we're in really good hands going forward. You guys are all exhibit some real leadership qualities. And I loved it when uh, Devin said in the beginning of this that it was a great way to look at health education through a different lens and, you know, no pun intended with the, with the photo voice. But um, I think it's really important to, Devin, keep that message going. And all, all of you, let your teachers know this, is, this was a nice way to learn something that had a little deeper meaning to you. And maybe we need to look at doing health education a little different way in some areas, uh, because this was obviously really impactful work and you did a phenomenal job. I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for letting me attend. Thank you. Again, Itch. Absolutely. Um, and I did see a couple things going on in the chat. I just wanted to make sure that I um, put that out there for the recording. Um, Caitlin said, awesome job. Gabrielle said, love it. Mr. Genich, what an awesome group, great speakers. Anushe, the photos and quotes are so good. Gabby, again, awesome photos and reflections. Miss Trottier, amazing. Rachel, seriously incredible. Dennis, phenomenal pictures, impactful work. Um, Jen Cantwell, you guys connected and made new friends in a pandemic. That alone would be an accomplishment, but you also created beautiful, meaningful photos. Great job. So. I don't know if anybody else had anything that they wanted to share out for the students, if the students had anything else that they wanted to share. Just want to give you that opportunity. I just want to say that, like, congratulations to all of you. I used to get to coordinate this project with Amanda um, before Dave um, got to partner with her on it. And I, I'm always blown away by your work. And it's just unbelievable, your reflections, even just sharing out tonight um, about your experience. I just love it. So congratulations, and thanks for being part of it. Thanks, Gab. Thanks. Ari, did you have your hand raised? Um, I just wanted to thank everyone. Um, I want to thank Ms. Trottier for getting me into Photo Voice. And I want to thank Dave and Amanda for being such amazing leaders and Devin for being a co-mentor <laughs> and um, everyone involved because you guys make this community and without you guys, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be Photo Voice. Thanks, Ari. And thank you so much for participating. You best co-mentor ever, Devin wrote. <laughs> I loved that we were able to bring both you and Devin back from the previous cycle to mentor these current students in this cycle, you know, you just really stepped up to the plate and took on that leadership role and really like set the tone, set the example of, you know, letting the students feel comfortable, letting the students feel open and vulnerable to share their personal experiences. And we couldn't have done it without you. So thank you again all your creative icebreakers and everything else that you were able to do with the students. We, we really do appreciate it. So thank you. Um, I think I saw someone else. Um, also shout out to Scott from Mika. He's here. Um, he does all our evaluation and collects all of our reporting every month so that we can send that um, back to the state to inform them about all the amazing stuff that you students are doing. So he also shared in the chat, bravo, well done, everyone. Um, Caroline Devin, who is um, on the Brockton Police, um, shared, so impressed with all of the students' hard work. I'm appreciative that I was invited to this presentation. Congratulations. Um, so thank you, everybody. Um, I'm just going to put up our contact information. So. Um, going forward, we will have all of these pictures and quotes available on our website and on our social media pages. So if you want to give us a follow on Instagram and Facebook, you'll be able to access um, all of these pictures and quotes coming up. Um, 
as a campaign. And um, we will also, the, the translations for all of these um, quotes will be, um, they're out being translated professionally right now, but again, those will be available on our um, website and on our social media handles as well. So um, we just wanted to put that out there. That is my email and phone number. That is Dave's email and phone number. Um, and that is all. Um, thank you everyone for joining us. And we hope to be in person the next cycle. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thanks everybody. Great job, everyone. Good job.